Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be talking about what I call the not twin prime conjecture. So you probably have heard of the twin prime conjecture before. This is an unsolved problem uh, which says that there are infinitely many twin primes, i.e. prime numbers which are exactly two apart. So three and five is a pair of twin primes because they're both prime numbers and they're exactly two apart. Five and seven is, eleven and thirteen is, uh, twenty-nine and thirty-one is also another twin prime pair. Uh, and the twin prime conjecture conjectures whether there are infinitely many of those or not, and that still to date remains unsolved. Anyway, today I'm going to be uh, doing the not twin prime conjecture, which I can solve, and I'm going to solve this video. Okay, we want to prove that there are infinitely many primes p, such that p plus 2 is not also prime, is also is not prime. That's why it's called the not prime conjecture. Okay, so let me just read that again. Prove that there exists infinitely many primes p, such that p plus 2 is not prime. Okay, so if you want to have a go at this problem, pause the video now and give it a go for yourself, and I'm going to jump straight into a solution. Okay, so I've written this set up on the board S, and I've defined it as follows. It's a set of primes P, for which P plus 2 is not prime. So the problem we're trying to solve is equivalent to showing that S has infinite cardinality. In other words, there are infinitely many elements in this set. Because remember, what we want to do is show that there are infinitely many primes P, for which P plus 2 is prime. And of course, that is the same thing as saying that this set here is has infinite cardinality. Okay, and to prove that, we're going to suppose for contradiction this doesn't have infinite cardinality, and thus has finite cardinality. Okay, so there are finitely many elements in this set here. Firstly, this set is not empty. Well, why is it not empty? Well, we can say the number 7 is in this set, because certainly 7 is prime, and also 7 plus 2 is 9, which is not prime. 9 is 3 times 3. Okay, so 7 is an S, so in particular S is not empty. So, so S not empty. And again, because we're supposing for contradiction that S has finitely many, element, many elements, it must have a largest element, which I'm going to call L. So L is the largest element in S, so the supreme, well let's not complicate things, let's just say the maximum element in S. Okay, cool. Well, so L is in S, so L is a prime such that L plus 2 is not prime. Now remember that there are infinitely many primes, this is a very standard common result, and to prove that you just prove that by contradiction. Uh, I'm not going to do that in this video. Anyway, um, we want to... Uh, so, sorry, so there's going to be a prime bigger than L, certainly. Okay, so let M be some prime number bigger than L. So M is bigger than L, and M is prime. Okay, now one sort of trivial thing I'm going to say is M must be odd, because obviously every prime number is odd except the number 2, and I argue that M can't be 2. Well, the reason M can't be 2 is because remember we have 7 is in this set here, and L is the largest element in this set here, so L must be at least 7, and because M is bigger than L, that means that M must be bigger than 7. So it certainly can't be 2. And because M is prime, it follows that M must be odd. Now, because M is bigger than L, and L is the largest element in this set, I claim that M plus 2 must be prime. Well, let me write it here. M plus 2 is prime. Okay, and the reason for this is, because M is prime, if M plus 2 wasn't prime, then that would mean that M was in this set here. But then M is bigger than L sort of by construction, but then that would con contradict that the L is the maximum element in S. So it must be that M plus 2 is prime. And similarly, we can conclude that M plus 4 is also prime. And similarly, M plus 6, M plus 8, and so on. So every, so M is an odd number, and every odd number bigger than or equal to M is prime, according to this. Now firstly, this should be a ringing alarm bells for a contradiction. Surely this can't be true, and it's not, but we've got to rigorously prove that, and that's not too difficult to do so, and that, that's where we're going to arrive at our contradiction. So M is, in, M is prime, and M plus 2 is prime. They're both odd, so when I multiply them together, I'm also going to get an odd number, and in particular, it's going to be bigger than M, so it's going to be in this list here, M, M plus 2, M plus 4. Eventually, if I go far down this list, I'm going to get to M times M plus 2. Okay, so let me write it here, say. So M times M plus 2, firstly, is clearly not prime. Okay? Um, but remember, M plus N times M plus 2 is in this list by sort of this argument, iterating it all the way down to M, M plus 2. But that's a contradiction, because this thing here says that M times M plus 2 is prime, but M times M plus 2 is the product of two 
positive integers, both of which are bigger than 1, and thus m times m plus 2 can't be prime. And that's where we arrive at a contradiction. We have a number which is prime, but also simultaneously not prime. And that's where our contradiction comes into play, and that solves our problem. So we're done. So there are, we've shown that there are infinitely many primes to p, such that p plus 2 is not prime, because, for the contrary, if there are finitely many, then we can get this sort of argument here. There'd be a largest element, L, which is prime with L plus 2 not prime. Then choose M to be a prime number bigger than, bigger than L, which certainly exists because there are infinitely many primes. And then M is prime by con construction. And using because M is not in S, M plus 2 is prime. Then M plus 4 is prime, and so on. But then M times M plus 2, for example, is not a prime number, clearly, because it's a product of two positive integers. But M times M plus 2, if we iterate this argument, eventually we get down to M times M plus 2, and that would be prime, according to this argument, but obviously m times m plus 2 is not prime. And that's where our contradiction comes in. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling now. I hope you have enjoyed this video, the not twin prime conjecture. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing and checking out some of my other fun maths videos as well. But that's all for now. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.